Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve an interview related question based on a scenario. The scenario is suppose we have two threads which are running concurrently and we have a shared resource which is a variable that is used to store value of a number. Now each thread will print the current value of the number and increment it. So we need to make sure that first thread prints only the even numbers and second thread prints only the odd numbers. This question is related to controlling the execution flow of multiple threads. So to solve this problem, you must have a strong knowledge of inter-thread communication. I have already covered that topic in my earlier videos. You can check it out from the top right corner of your screen and also the link is available in description. Before we code, let's try to understand the problem and approach to solve. So we have two threads T1 and T2 and we want T1 to print 1, 3, 5, 7 so on as odd numbers and similarly thread T2 to print 2, 4, 6, 8 so on. We will have a common resource, a variable, which will store the current value of the number. This variable will be printed by both the threads and also update its value after printing. Now without any further delay, let's start. We can start with a very simple approach. Although I do not recommend this approach, but let's start with it and then we will move to the more optimized solution. If you want to skip this first approach, you can directly go to the optimized approach from the chapters link given below. Now let's get into it. This is our printer even odd class. It contains few instance variables. One is to store the current value as a number. Other one is used to store maximum value up to which we need to print the sequence. We also have defined one object instance variable which we will be using as a lock while synchronizing. Then in this constructor we are initializing all the instance variables. As we know this class implements runnable so let's provide the implementation of run method as well. We have a loop that keeps running as long as the current number which is a number variable is less than the maximum number which is max number. Then we check if the current value of num is even and the name of executing thread is even. Then it enters this synchronized block where we are printing and incrementing the num value. Once that operation is done then using lock.wait it tells the current thread to wait and release the lock that will allow other threads to run. This thread will continue after receiving a notify or notify all signal. Similar to the earlier if block, we have another conditional block which will do almost same thing but for odd number value and when the thread name is odd also. In the end, it will send a notify signal so that the even thread can continue its execution. Now before executing, let's try to understand this flow with an example. So in the beginning, the value of num is 1 and let's say the thread with name even started its execution. So for the even thread, the even thread will only be able to enter any of these if blocks when the actual number value is even. So for value 1, even thread will not go inside any of these blocks. Okay, so as soon as uh, the odd thread gets its chance for execution, the odd thread will be able to uh, enter the second if. Why? Because 1 modulus 2 is not equal to 0. This condition is satisfied and also the name of the thread is odd. So it will go inside this. It will print its odd its value and increment the num as well. 
and after that it will also send a signal of log.notify in the beginning this will not have much significance but it will be very significant in the later executions so after the value is incremented to 2 whenever the even thread gets its chance or its cpu time to execute at that time the even thread will be able to enter inside this if block and once it does it will print even and increment the value and go to the wait state and after that whenever the odd thread again comes into execution it will print the third value and notify it after receiving this notify signal this even thread which was in the waiting state will again become runnable and starts its execution and we'll see that now the value is 4 so again it will execute this particular line and print the value and upgrade the value of num so this is how we are able to print even on odd values using different threads So in our main class what we have done we have created an object of this printer even odd class and provided num as the starting value and maximum 100 up to which we want to print the series and then we are creating two different threads using the same printer object and if you see we are specifying the explicit names of even and odd so that this particular t1 thread will be responsible for printing only even numbers and t2 will be responsible for printing only the odd numbers and after that we are just starting the threads now let me just execute and observe the output so here we can see uh, the odd numbers are getting printed by the odd thread and even numbers are getting printed by the even thread itself. We can see that the implementation we have done is able to provide the required output but still it is not a good solution. Because in the even threads logic we are calling log.wait without any specific condition to release the log and allow odd thread to continue. Also in case of odd threads logic we are using log.notify without any specific condition to check whether even thread is ready to run or not. This can lead to inefficient and unpredictable behavior sometimes also. The second issue is relying on thread names to determine the flow of your program is not a good practice. It makes the code less maintainable and more error prone. We should use proper synchronization mechanism to coordinate between threads. Now let us see the proper implementation for this problem. We will use modulus and remainder approach to implement the solution. A remainder will be assigned to each thread. We will check the current value present in the variable and find the remainder after applying the modulus operation with 2. And based on the remainder value, we let the appropriate thread wait and other thread continue. Now enough talking, let's implement. So these are the instance variables where number variable will contain the current value. Then we have max number which is the upper limit up to which we want to print the series. We also have remainder which will set different for different threads and will be used to identify if the thread will print even or odd number. In the end we have defined an object instance variable which we will be using as a lock while synchronizing similar to the previous example. Then in the constructor we are initializing the instance variables. Now let me write down the run function implementation and then we will discuss how it works. Here we have a loop that keeps running as long as the current number which is a number is less than the maximum number. Inside the loop we use a lock to make sure that only one thread can access and print the number at a time. 
This prevents thread from interfering with each other. There is a condition to check if the current number's remainder matches a specified remainder value. This condition ensures that different threads print numbers with different properties, for example, even and odd numbers. If the condition is not met, that is the remainder doesn't match, the thread waits for a signal using lock.wait. This means that it puts on hold until the condition becomes true. When the condition becomes true, the remainder matches, the thread prints the number and increase it, depending on the thread's remainder value set. After printing the number, the thread sends a signal using lock.notify to wake up another waiting thread that matches the same condition. This allows other threads to take their turn and print their respective numbers. The key idea here is to coordinate multiple threads so they take turns printing numbers according to the specific criteria like even and odd and do so in a synchronized and orderly manner. Now in the demo class we are creating two different objects of this printer class where we are specifying the starting value, the maximum number in the sequence and the remainder value. The, where the remainder value is 1, that will be printing the odd numbers and where the remainder value is 0, that will be responsible for printing the even number. And using these two objects, we are creating two thread objects and starting them. Now let us execute this and observe the output. So here we can see, we are able to see T1 is printing 1, T2, 2, again T1, 3, T2, 4. So T1 is responsible for printing odd numbers and T2 is responsible for printing even numbers. So that was it for uh, this particular scenario problem. So if you have any other scenario in your mind and uh, want me to implement its solution, please do let me know in the comment section. So we'll be back in the next week's video with some another interesting topic from multithreading. Thanks for watching. Till then, keep learning.